In this presentation we will look at listing files in a directory, in a folder so to speak. So the first thing we're going to consider is suppose we require a list of files in a particular directory. Now for the sake of brevity in the first instance I'm going to use just the working folder just to save me typing it out. Anyway the command I'm going to use is called list.files. So it actually just works in this sort of basis here. You just name the folder and what it will do is will list the files in that folder. So get working directory, let's just have a look at the name of my directory, there we have it there. And essentially it's just to save me typing that out that I'm going to just type in get working directory. There we have it there, those are the six uh, files in my current working directory. I could have just as easily done this Remember to put in the quotation marks, just copy and paste that all in. And there we go. So it's the same thing again. So that's, uh, I use where I just used the working directory just to sort of skip uh, pasting that all out, uh, writing that all out. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is suppose I have a subdirectory and in this folder I have a subdirectory uh, called new project. Now as long as this folder is in the working directory we don't have to write out any additional path um, any additional uh, names of the path so we just have to type in the name of the uh, uh, subdirectory the folder. So let's have a look at this now so here it is here, new project, that's the name of my subdirectory. So list files, uh, quotation marks, new project. And those are the uh, files in that subdirectory of my working directory. Let's uh, finally look at uh, counting how many files we might have in the directory. Well, the thing about this is, is that um, it's simply a character vector, a vector of character values. And so all we have to do is use the length command, the length function here. So there we have it there. There's three files and that's, but suppose there was more, that's how we would count how many files are in uh, a folder or working directory. We could do the same thing for uh, the working directory as well. How many uh, files are in that folder there. Get working directory. Six in my working directory. Anyway, that ends our presentation. Thank you very much.